Hi, Melody Daphne here. How are you? Really hope you're doing okay in Australia. Such a long way away. And uh, yeah, you're getting on all right. Um, okay, here we go. Another pie chart. Uh, crop production in France. So, key information. This is similar to the one you did before. Do you remember on school subjects? Okay. So, the pie chart provides information about percentages of corn, butter, and rice yielded. Good word. In France during 2017. Great vocab. Overall, cotton cultivation was the most harvested crop. You have to make it into an adjective. Um, most harvested crop. Mm. Hang on. Turn it around. Was the crop... Was the... Hang on. Hang on. Ah. We've got to change this around quite a lot. Was the crop most harvested by? Okay, so harvested is your verb. Was the crop most harvested by more French farmers compared to corn and rice, which comprised, um, sorry, the lowest prevalence? Um, not prevalence, because prevalence is like a tendency, something that happens often. The lowest uh, grown over the period given. Uh, okay, very nice start there. According to data in 2017, cotton accounted for the highest crop production of the 34 in France, which compared to rice, which was the relative clause, which was relative pronoun, I mean, almost ten times more, very good. Followed, following closely by three items of similar percentage of, um, not following, I go followed. So this was followed closely. Followed closely by three, yeah, namely sugar, wheat, and barley, yeah, respectively, throughout 2017. Good. Um, it's not throughout because it's just when you harvest once a year, uh, harvest respectively, just in 2017. Additionally, sugar was positioned at the second, as I say, as second largest cultivation and surpassed slightly, uh, slightly surpassed. So watch out, adverb goes before, normally before the verb, uh, just over 1.5. Although barley was the fourth most popular crop, uh, cotton was nearly double. Yeah, wow. In contrast in the same year, between corn and rice production, uh, the, the difference between, between corn and rice only accounted for, so you need a, a subject there, otherwise you haven't got a subject in your grammar. Whereas the lowest was caught almost half of the rice cultivation. Wow, very, very good answer there. It's so complicated. You have given me a massive amount of very complicated but beautifully done grammatical structures. Very, very, very good. Really well done. So, employees should stay in the same job or switch. To what extent do you agree? Agree. So, opinion essay and to what extent uh, and give reasons. Okay. Listen, of remaining permanently in one workplace throughout professional life has been a controversial topic for the past few decades. Good. Throughout, I would think you have a professional life should be here. I strongly believe, despite the benefits of job security, being recruited for more than one company could increase work experience and confidence. Lovely. Uh, this essay will explain. Very, very good. Firstly, if an employee continues accomplishing similar tasks, Work. Okay, either work tasks here, yeah, work tasks in the same job for multiple years. I think that's what you mean. You could either have similar tasks working or similar work tasks in the same job. They could considerably decrease the opportunity. Uh, I would say maybe their opportunity actually to gain knowledge due to the lack of challenges. In other words, having more than a single practical experience usually confronts workers. Having more than you, yes, confronts. Um, confronts. With, yes, confront, that's what's wrong. Confronts workers with. Confronts and challenges workers. Okay, with new and complex 
So I think you need both. Confront is not quite, doesn't feel quite right. But if you have challenges as well, it's good. It allows them to enhance, so significantly enhance. Again, adverb, verb. Watch out with that. I think we've had this before, haven't we? Okay, I'm going to put that in red. So your adverb is before your verb. Specific skills. Uh, specific, rather than specific skills at work, why don't you go to specific corporate skills? Then you don't need to repeat that. As an example, uh, Harvard has revealed a comprehensive study of doctors practicing in only one, in only one and more, in only one and more than two. Okay, you could have a multiple. And the results conclude the second group, uh, group, the second group is more is frequently more accurate with their diagnosis due to their vast experience. Good work could rise because of valuable employment history. Yes, well done. Really, really lovely. Um, I really like uh, so much here. Very well organised. Okay, excellent vocab. Um, and you're throwing in some really nice grammar as well in this one. Very good. Secondly, although having a continuous salary in a permanent company could be highly attractive and convenient, well done, well done, well done. Self-conscious, yeah, absolutely perfect sentence. Whew, it is so hard to get those right, and that is brilliant. I bet your Australian friends are very impressed with you. Uh, okay, so continuous salary, permanent company, all this uh, vocab is very good. This is because human beings frequently need to attain unfamiliar projects. Um, Attain, attain. Um, you can't obtain a project. Undertake. I go undertake unfamiliar projects to feel empowered and confident in their lives. Whereas routine, especially at work, notoriously diminishes. So adverb again. Uh, those positive characteristics. Yes, that is true at the moment. I just had my timetable for the school where I teach, and it is chaotic i mean ridiculous um because nobody all this we're all we do have to teach whole school online so it's pretty challenging stuff so i'm going to be challenged uh the psychologist journal for instance has mentioned that young adults might be more courageous and valiant due to their exposure to numerous jobs now we don't use valiant it's a lovely word but it's really old-fashioned so courageous and um, why don't you go courageous, challenged, no, maybe, and stimulated, yeah, due to their exposure to numerous jobs compared to older generations who frequently remain in the same business, good, so just use three is quite nice for the academic style, three good adjectives there. Thus, the benefits of changing jobs may be positive reflected in people's personalities, um, demonstrating high levels of confidence. Excellent. To conclude, despite the risk of losing constant income from stable work, I firmly believe acquiring essential and practical experience um, throughout various jobs or throughout um, a professional career. Yeah, could be fundamental to address bravery in any difficulty in the workplace. Address, address okay, to bravely address adverb again. Okay, just switch that around. Okay, well done. I predicted future generations might perform, uh, are more likely to. Yes, might is okay more likely to um, be employed by, more likely to seek uh, experience or challenges or variety maybe in various companies during their lives. It's very true, isn't it? Well done. Okay, that's a great essay. Super, super good. Really happy with that. Wow. You're just going amazingly. You're doing so well. Very good. Uh, take care of yourself. Well done.